Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we discuss about the process of dual hop bridge DC to DC converter with void trans ZVS and zero circulating current. In this process, DC to DC converter circulating current is produced in the transformer less because two transformers connected to parallel. In proposed design, using the dual hop bridge inverters for reduce the circulating current. In our proposed use, zero voltage switching controlled by the physiology controller for reduce the switching loss and regulate the voltage. A new converter topology that is both high power and digitally controlled combinations to hobbit inverters to operate a, as a full pitch power stage using base shifting controller. But with zero circulating current, each power switch operates with a nominal 50 percentage 30 cycles to achieve zero voltage switching over a widely varying load but can also function in pulse with modulation mode for increased output voltage regulation range light load efficiency can be improved by turning of the hobbit inverter one of the most popular topologies for high power and high density switching converter design in a base shifted full bridge dc to dc converter favored because of its capability of zero voltage switching operations which minimizes switching losses this converter's configures is described in details in texas instrument applications however a large circulating current in the topology gives significant conduction loss at heavy loads while at light loads the circulating current becomes too little for switches to achieve it vs both characteristics impact the ability to achieve the maximum efficiency reducing the circulating current and exerting soft switching over a wider load range or two key areas to improve the base shifted full bridge converter's performance. Now we are going to see a flow diagram of our proposed work. In this flow diagram the DC input will be given. The DC input will be directly given by the normal battery source or also the PV cells and also the fuel cells of or any other renewable energy source. The DC input will be given to the dual hybrid inverter. The dual hybrid inverter will be the hybrid inverter. So hybrid inverter will be interconnected both and it is acting as a full bridge inverter. It will be reduced circulating current of our process because the two dual hybrid inverter, two transformer will be interconnected with parallel connection. So that reasons the circulating current will be reduced between the two transformers and that dual hybrid output will be go to the converter the converter will be convert the ac current to dc current because the dual hybrid inverter the dc input will be then converted to the pulse of ac inverter the pulse ac inverter will be go to the transformer bar for bucking the ac voltage or like it will be reduce the ac voltage or step down the ac voltage and that step, step down ac voltage will be converted to the dc format by using the converter. After the converter, the DC output will be interconnected to the load. Now we find out the error calculations by the DC output. It is the voltage or current based on our application. Now that error calculation will be done by reference signals and also the output signal. That output error will be going to the FLC controller. The physiology controller will be getting the error signal from the error calculations and that will be controlled to the pulse that pulse will be controlled the dual hobbit and also the converter and it will be reduced the harmonic and also circulating current of our proposed work now we going to demo of our process in our process first we load the physiology controller input by reading the fri dot file and that name will be the same as fri that this file will be read and it will be stored at the workspace or else the system will be not be run because the fuzzy logic controller will not be get the rules from the workspace for that reason first we load load the fuzzy rules from the fri this file and after the fuzzy rule will be loaded then we go to run our process in our model first we give the dc input and that dc input will be interconnected the to dual hop to hobbit circuiter if one hobbit circuiter will be get the two switches and the two 
capacitor and resistance circuits and that circuit will be reduce the circulating current for during the operations the two switches will be converted to the dc into ac output the dual garbage will be generated the off cycle of ac so that reason the two switch will be generated the one off cycle and another dual another half bit circuit will be generated the off another dual garbage with the specify gap and if the two type of uh, half cycles will be interconnected and it will be automatically converted to the dc output and that dual that ac output will be sending through the inductor the inductor will be reduce the unwanted harmonics in the ac source and that inductor it will be connected to the step down transformer in the transformer is a primary winding is the, primary is the single winding and the secondary will be two winding and that two winding will be interconnected because the two winding transformers will be reduce the circulating current because the parallel transformer will be generate the current will be into the circuit so that reason the circulating current will be reduced because the circulating current formed by the current will be rotating into the transformer so the two transformers will be interconnected the circulating current will be sent through the one transformer to another transformer so that reason automatically the circulating current will be reduced if the circulating current will be reduced it will reduce the flux of the current then that will be go to the free wheeling diode that the free wheeling diode will be reduce the reversing current formation because the ac current will be converted to the dc current by using the capacitor by the ac current will be in the normal cycle the capacitor will be charged if the ac will be the negative cycle the capacitor will be discharged during the discharging the reversing current will be formed the diode will be reduce the reversing current formation in the half bit circuit and now it will be going to the load and the load will be interconnected to the one of the diodes and that will be connected to the voltage measurement port the voltage measurement port the current voltage will be measured and it will be go to the signal of the controller and the controller will be we will give the normal reference signal and after the signal the fuzzy logic control will be get the two input from the reference signal one will be the error signal and another will be the changing error signal the error signal which is it is the current error signal the changing error will be the previous error signal and both will be connected to the fuzzy logic controller then the fuzzy logic controller will be generated the output based on the two input and that fuzzy logic output it control the bwm and that bwm will be generated the two four pulses and that four pulses will be control the two half bit circuited in the current so that reason the if the frequency of the output will be increases then the bwm will be generated the correct pulses so that reason the harmonic will be maintained and the output itself will be the low harmonic under the pure dc current thank you